ladies doing? Come on in and meet the ladies. You know, I mean, there's a, and there's a lot of them, so I hope you're ready for all this. <laughs> there's a lot of women. I think, um, first I'll introduce the situation in terms of why and how that I became fixated with, with uh, creating all these dolls. Um, it started probably as a youth. I love, I love designing. I love creating. Um, I, I like. I used to love making my own doll clothes. So that was one of my one of the sensations of being able to get some fabric and uh, seeing what I can create based on my own imagination. And as you can see, I have a lot of imagination. These are probably a hundred and twenty-five of. Um, of 336 that I have that's just on this first floor and you look so right here a lot of them and you can see they they have their nudes and it's almost hard to walk through here because you'll see uh, some of them are look like they're ready to pick a fight and you have some that are smiles some of them are wondering so I, I believe that a lot of their their expressions it might surface from what I might have really felt at that time but all in all it's, it comes down to um, the fashion and sometimes the dolls will represent a different theme or something in history that I want to convey and and so their outfits will correlate with you know with that um, a lot of times I have friends that will bring over the fabric and it'll be the fabric alone that will inspire you know uh, it might be a, a, a shade of purple, for instance, when I saw this shade of purple, it was like, whoa, you know, you imagine, you fixate to that, you know, the fabric and what, you know, exactly how you want to stylize that particular fabric. And a lot of friends will give me like pieces of broken earrings and different things. And um, after, I think once it started as far as a young girl wanting to um, create and put my, into my talents and my ideas and my concepts, then I had a daughter and it was really amusing because I wanted my daughter to have a concept of the fact that black women were extraordinary. We, we just did things, you know, um, in that we were in all phases of, of occupations and, um, and it was very important for, her, for me to convey to her that we were powerful women. So I, I think I did 23, 23 dolls. And it was so funny because she had no interest. She totally had no interest. Even today, she, you know, they're they're my art and whatnot, but she never, she really wasn't into dolls, which was okay with me because it wasn't so much that I wanted to be like the, the you know, back in, I think we had like the, when she was come on, you know, Chatty Cathy and Barbie and all that. So it was, that was okay, you know, as long as she had an understanding of the fact that we were powerful. So it didn't keep me from, making dolls because I end up having a grand other you know grandchildren and not so much even at the older ones but the younger ones it's something to tell. It's history. I can I can go to schools and I do displays and and then the children can see maybe sometimes the dolls represent an error in, in time and, and sometimes I even take because I love I love books and I'll take them in um different uh, like for instance we had to kill a mockingbird. Well, just current recently, the uh, our president was featuring to kill the mockingbird, and I was like, "Yes, I have that on my shelf." And so I was like, kind of put the doll next to it to, um, you know, to accentuate the fact that, hey, we read to kill a mockingbird, and then, um, and then it was like trying trying to find the right doll. And sometimes it's something military that occurs, and and I might um, like one of my friends during the Iraq War. I have friends that have actually lost their children, you know, in the Iraq War. So I don't know we'll commemorate, and I'll use a, a newspaper, the background, just things that you know to say that um, I have an interest in what's going on, you know, around me. And like, oh, for instance, right here, here's a doll which represents um, the. Uh, oh, 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 she might have lost a son during the war, and and her idea was that okay, you know, the flag was well, you know, I respect the flag, but I've lost a child. And there's the choir, the, you know, woman represents the choir, and, and these two women represent the uh, the people who own the funeral home. So, <laughs> I, uh, I probably go really way out in terms of my emotions that I have inside. I've lost three sons, so I'm, like, I'm really touched and emotional. Um, I have dolls that speak on uh, Mandela and, and that whole the Soweto and uh, him his imprisonment. So. History is so important to me and to be able to 
um, express it, and this is just one of the very many ways that I, I use it because it's something that I, you know, I is about getting fabric, putting it together, and making something out of this says, wow, I can do something and make a contribution in terms of my artwork. And so I choose to use them as another medium of expressing how much I love humanity and, and wanting to use my art to tell a story. So now that you have seen and, uh, uh, for instance, a protest of a group of girls, I call them my protesters, is always something that we have that's in the media that lends to, that has to be protested <laughs> about. So she's representing the fact that she's a pro-choicer, you know, and she goes back to free Dorn Angela Dorn at the, the late 60s and early 70s. I'm an activist, I did, you know, I'm, that was my time period as far as being a young woman, so therefore, these are the things I tell about. So she represents the activists, and then we have, I have, uh, when we had the Imus, the, the racism and sexism, so these dolls, I call them protesters, you know, they represent civil service dolls, dolls that, you know, who have jobs that are, you know, that, you know we have our nurses, the, we have your fire, the fire chief, and you know, your, your traffic guard. And um, so uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show that these, we, we're women and we comprise a lot of what goes on here in this in this country. And so I'm trying to give, you know, I'm trying to give them their due in dolls. So when the girls are met, when they, with their imagination. So when you're, um, when they're thinking and pretending, because usually that's what young girls do with dolls. They're pretending. And it's like, what goes on in their minds when they're pretending? And I want to give them substance so these dolls will relate to different people that they can see in their everyday lives. So, so therefore, you had to have a nurse, and of course, we have women who are in the fire, you know, in the fire, uh, as far as fire uh, fighting services. I have uh, uh, dolls who represent, um, like, okay, uh, Tabernacle was putting up solar energy when the church, local church is getting, and I wanted her to be a photographer and where she was filming solar energy so I used a background drop showing Tabernacle getting the Tabernacle Baptist Church in Burlington getting their very first um, you know solar uh, panels put up you know, these are my dolls to represent and a big part of me and that's singing I love to sing I have a passion for singing and these are my dolls that um, and I love singing uh, many different styles of music so they represent the opera uh, these particular dolls, and then I have <laughs> dolls here. I call them my Uchi <laughs> Mama dolls, you know, where they, you know, they're a little bit more revealing, and I, the, the kind of grandma, like, put, you know, put something on, you know, cover up, and I just wanted to, you know, and so I just, like I said, there was, there was, we are, we are across the board. We have our women, we do so many different, th you know, different things. So um, that's why everything. I didn't want to leave out. <laughs> anything you know I have dolls you like these particular dolls we have they're, they're diner they're my dolls that you know that's the caterers and the bakers and she's one of my favorite her name is Tiara and she's um, the director of a radio station named Wish which is really awesome because during Obama's campaign I had various dolls probably about 30 dolls who actually went on a, a tour and they went to visit all these old American historical homes. And I actually have different pictures behind them showing them in these particular, and it was all about fundraising. All these dolls were they're doing a fundraiser to help support, <laughs> to support Obama in the spirit of being a doll. And, uh, and that was a lot of fun because they, you know, they spoke on how they had to, you know, get their money together and how they had to connect with other different dolls and friends and family members to make sure that he got in the White House. So another extension of my imagination in terms of, you know, directing them according to what I want to occur in terms of, uh, of manifesting the fact that I want Obama to win. So I used the dolls, you know, to... Uh, point away and, and then the clothes you know I like you know like during the fall sometimes I don't believe with the design and then sometimes the summer and, like this is a lawyer she has an attache case this particular doll she represents home economics and um and, and how she felt about the fact that a lot of our young people don't get home economics again a lot of them don't have that guidance in the homemaking 
that a lot of us older in our older generation have grew up with. The, the young men don't have the, whether the auto making and the um, the cabinet making with shops and a lot of those things because of funding, they're no longer prepared. And um, so that's why she has that expression on her face. She's very angry in the sense about the lack of uh, home economics. And, um, like I said, any number of the dolls, they all have different uh, personas that speak to, uh, it could be a crisis, it could be a, you know, something that's an uh, inhalation. And like I said, and sometimes it's just about fabric. <laughs> You know, create all this and you know it's all lined and you know and, the, and trying to put the faces on and make sure the eyes are even <laughs> and then these are sisters she's a judge she's a judge and she's a environmentalist and some of the models like she her name is uh madison cochran and when i tell her story i have usually have uh rodney king in the background you know in commemoration to mr johnny cochran so, um, again, and I have a, these, this, she's a pilot, and she's like, she has a franchise of cookie stores, and I have the whole, and it's so much fun, and then you, 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 and then, and then what I do is sometimes, like, they're, I'm using the same, sometimes I'll get a pair of pants of different shades of brown, because I try to, I'm really trying to make sure you, you know, there's always somebody, well, they're not dark enough, or this one's not light enough, or do you have this, or you have that, and I really believe I have really gotten, um, every shade of, of uh, <laughs> color that I could possibly, you know, get, and, and it's 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 just it's, and it just it's just wonderful for me to sit down and say, well, I created that. I, you know, that is my that is, that's the design that I have, and um, it's like eat your heart out, Barbie, you know. <laughs> but um, just like Madam Walker, um, uh, and uh, like I'm in environmental and thinking green, you know, that was my. The dolls. I use a lot of backdrops based on what I'm reading at you know at the time. So um, I home study a grandchild. Some you know I have. I think probably some you know a lot of educational uh, books that they're you know, surrounded with to accentuate uh, my imagination. Because <laughs> then you have to take the head off, and uh, you know some faces are really you know. They're so photographic, and then some some dolls, you know, won't. And I realize, like, sometimes the darker skin dolls, sometimes it's really, you know, t to make sure you can get a picture real close of their face. And using lighter colors for their lips to bring out their face. I liked her this one. And uh, this, this particular doll, she's my, my warden, of, uh, of the prison warden. And, um, and, and her and they're having a summit and the summit is uh, they invited it was called the judges summit and all these women that were in the, the penal system um, like wardens and judges they were they were all to come together and um, and talk about the reformation of of, uh, of justice for for inmates you know women who were inmates dolls who were inmates <laughs> so um, and I she's an, uh, that's, an, uh, that's judge Cruz uh, yeah, so that's, uh, oh my gosh, we just, I had a friend who um, wanted to purchase a doll, matter of fact, she wanted to purchase this particular doll, and it looked a lot like her, and it was so funny, because when I, when I was asked, I was just trying to, all right, girls, you gotta, <laughs> I find myself talking to them, <laughs> and then hoping they don't answer me back. In Venice, I was asked to. There was a woman who owned a cafe, and she wanted a doll that looked like her. And she was so creative in her dance, and but she wanted. She says, "Well, how much?" And and the man who was helping, who wanted to produce the doll, and they wanted to do make copies of it. And I said, twenty dollars." I says, "Wait a minute, it cost me twenty dollars." Now these are my Latino dolls. I have a lot of dolls that um, represent the Latino, you know, Latinos, and I want to show that they were also a very big part of uh, Obama, you know, being elected. And um, so one's a superintendent. Once she's uh, into international fund, uh, fund, you know, fundraising, and they're they all like. And then I have this particular doll showing that she's in a you know motherly's way and. You know, she, uh, they're, like I said, they all have occupations, and she represents the Red Hatters, the organization where the women they wear the red hats, and 
Um, so I wanted to earn them. <laughs> so I found some of that little bottle of champagne, so I gave them something too. And this is funny, I, particularly this one. This young girl, she has her fake diamond on. And I had to get that straight because she had a grandmother who was like, a, who took her back to the blood diamond kind of era, you know, in terms of remembering that there's so many children that suffered in, you know, in the mining the diamonds. And so I, that was a discussion, you know, that was brought up. The fact that, uh, you know, the diamonds and, and, she, and the grandmother was like, you need to take that big old diamond off. And, um, and oh, this particular doll, like she's a, she's a, she's a, um, this particular doll's a lawyer. And you have your Muslim doll here who's, um, you know, she's got her sign for Michelle Obama because you'd be surprised how many women it was about Michelle Obama. I got that. <laughs> and then this particular doll, um, I did her when we had, when the, um, when the towers went down. New York and so it was called and you know, she has her box of tissues you know it's like my issues in a box of tissues and then this particular doll her name is Rosetta P uh, Parker and she represents uh, you know free, the free king and she and so the stories that I have that you know clearly her is that it's a king story um, and then um, sometimes like I said it's about a pretty fabric and even and then they'll have then once I've gotten the fabric and the design and, and all that correlated and the, and the personalities and it'll be something that'll, you know, that they be, that they are, you know, it's not just so much the outfits. Um, and now there's, um, I think her, she's, she's another, another lawyer. She represented, um, a justice lawyer against, uh, injustice. She was, um, she, she had a case. A lot, I guess a lot of them have cases and. Co uh, you know, colleagues and oh this was Michael Jackson so it was a it was like a, a community theater and the young girls and the young kids were doing um, the whiz and she represented a uh, and then I went to see <laughs> this is it and so she has a little this is it tag on you know where I reduced it and made it like she had her like she had gone to see Michael Jackson's last um, you know last film and these are all my little cute grandkids and my children pictures. And then I guess this one is a male, a male woman. And I gave her the color to uh, commemorate my male lady because she is fantastic. She's just a wonderful male person, and I wanted to do a doll to represent. And then at the time they were um, uh, there was a lot of layoffs with them in the male, uh, you know, in that um, the postal industry and I was trying to give word to even though we have like our emails and our Facebooks and all that way it's just something very personal about getting you know about, you know letters and um, you know we really depend on our, our male people I just want that to be understood and again you know it's about um, like I said some is about fashion and, and then remembering because I have over 336 so sometimes not all easy to remember to take all done and that's why I have my trusty Kellogg. <laughs> so they're both they're all Kellogg. And I can uh, this is a lot of my artwork and and these and a lot of times like I said it's about styling and I love music. I love to sing and I'm always performing. These these are Vice Squad. These dolls represent the Vice Squad so they have a whole story behind them. <laughs> you know they're both of them are detect you know detectives and there's some um, and it's a, a pursuit that they have after some political uh, criminals. <laughs> so, um, and, and like I said, I, I have public statements that I make as far as what I feel, as far as what goes on and socially. And I make my statements through my dolls and through my art. You know, uh, like this picture of this I can't stand the wind. And it's like one of my little, it's like a little grandchild sneaking away and feeling like, wow. I'm always concerned about the birds when it comes to balloons. <laughs> So a lot of that, they say the fashion music, the music, representing music, basically representing me and how I feel. And probably the many characters I've had to play on stage, especially uh, I've played a lot of um, 19th century uh, pieces or historical act, you know, acting, reenacting. And here's we got the uh, Genesis 6, another uh, piece that, you know, dramatized. And as far as our the injustice that our young black young youth go through, this is one of my favorites. And her name is Madam Walker, and she's my doll reader kind of chord. 
And uh, as we move along and this, they, you know, I had like this particular dolls where there's some dolls, they, they, they took part in slavery, but it's surprising some dolls, they fare different from, you know, some, not some dolls, people fare different on the plantations than others. You had like your field hands and you had some who worked in, was raised on the plantation. Life wasn't as bleak to them, you know, so I had showing that. And then I had the dolls, which is actually toiled a little bit more, and the ones in the cotton fields. And then I had, you know, where the plantation owner, and, and it, like and showing the one who took care of the, you know, the uh, the missus children. Then I have dolls in which, oh, like this particular doll, where you get to turn her upside down, she's, she's pregnant. She's got a little bundle in there. <laughs> and then you turn her upside down and, and voila, there's the little baby. So I think two of those. Like, I like to collect old telephone, you know, not because of telephone, but I should be a telephone operator. And this is my this is the start off my lost earring collection and then it just got to be where well, I just placed the earrings up there but then it has some old the goodies I think I don't know a woman who hasn't had a favorite earring so that has a, a, a sentiment that goes along with it so so they're all in between so I've made a nice little art piece so I like kept it there as that just hoping that I have three little granddaughters and I'm hoping that They'll come in and they go, ooh, oh, you know, it's a lot of ooh, I things, you know. All the, a lot of the dolls are named after relatives and like, they have a granddaughter named April. Or, and she took this tells the story of the 1930s. Um, then you have my fashion fair dolls here. These are, well, she's a fashion fair, fashion fair, and she's an auto designer. And then you have a, a graduation in Philly. And, and I guess I had the dolls who were rooting for Obama. These little, these made of little walnuts, little magnets. It's a story. Okay. These are my dance. These represent dancers. You know, I dancing. I love dancing in Sage of a It's one of the, you know, it's like, if anything I was going to, it was like the greatness of great when it comes to dancing. That's how I have pictured myself anyway. And so these dolls represent my heart song. You know, the dance, singing, and, you know, the, as a young girl, you know, ballet, and and this video, the old dance teacher who's seeing one of her prize students, you know, up there and, you know, going to see her recital. So that's, that's what she represents, that that school teacher was out there. She even her feet are kind of even posed, you know, where you know dance. Because there's something about the elegance of being a, a, a dancer who's very serious about, you know, dancing, be it classical or jazz. And I love to dance. And this, I think, she's another one of my most photogenic. She's my historian, and um, so she. A lot of times, when I'm telling historical stories. She'll be the host of, you know, of that. Mm -hmm. This little girl represents who some a uh, little girl who has won a spelling con essay contest. So I, you know, went to, and it could have been like, seeing the, the lace fabric and all that just so accentuated, uh, you know, the, the the outfit and and she's a doll that's hosting for a Kwanzaa. These are they going to a Kwanzaa party. So they're um, you know, so they're all dressed festively. And um, and I love doing. Hair. I love doing pictures of hair. You know, women and you know like doing the hair thing. So I, you'll see a lot of um, me in that. Now this this is a wedding right here, a wedding party. Because it shows this this is a sister, and the sister was in love with the with her sister's. Now her husband this is going to be the husband. So this is one of those soap opera stories, basically, and. Uh, it's she's a anchor she's an anchor an anchor news person and so they're all a part of a, of a family and a wedding you know at the wedding a, wed, a wedding picture and and she's feeling miserable because she knows she's carrying the her sister's you know husband's child so that's what am I <laughs> little soap opera mm -hmm. <laughs> I might not have been in this field you know and I guess you know like this like I 
Really, because you know you had some of them. You dolls, you wanted to look like they were really pressed. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the creator outfits were um, Miss Black America, Pennsylvania essence. She's always, but you know, she's always. Uh, I see her on Facebook a lot in fabric, and and she's a fashion designer. So it's so much fun when she comes over because she can look at different dolls I made and know what she made with the fabric. that it, it all began as a, as a child. Um, I love dolls. I have a lot of dolls around me. I think back in the early, well, I guess you could say the mid-50s, I had, you know, they had the Chatty Cathy dolls, the Tiny Tear dolls, and and I, um, and my mom, she was working uh, part-time at a bathing suit company, so there was, I had access to all kinds of different fabric, and therefore, um, I made my my dolls outfits, and I think that's when it comes to design. I you know I love design, and even today I can I my some of my designs are in Van, Vanderbilt University, you know. So I feel that you know it's not so much just designing uh, for the doll clothes. Is that I love to design. I love designing, you know, fashion designing, and so I take that love that I've had for fashion designing and and try to make representations of my imagination, you know, with all the fabric that I've acquired, you know, from friends and just going to fabric places and saying, wow, I like that fabric and I can make something out of it. So it's another part, extension of my art, taking, having something around you and being able to create something with it. So I, I can say that was my beginnings as a child, um, just making, uh, you know, outfits for my, my dolls. and. And I loved to dress. I made best dress in my high school, and dressing was very essential. My mother was a tight person. When you walked out the door, it's got to be like a take back, <laughs> you know. So uh, we, I, my brother was um, soul designer of the year in 84. So we were a family that really, really were fashion motivated, you know, how, about how good you looked when you went out. So I, like I said, back to back, it was a child. <laughs> and my mother, I guess, loving us to look good. And um, then I think I went on to um, when my daughter was born and I made her 23 dolls and when I made the dolls I had women empowerment. I really wondered her to know just how how uh, we as black women and our contributions we had made and it was so easy for people to not really look and see exactly what it was to be black in America. And being black in America is, um, even today, I think, you know, our loss of our children, um, separations from our men, uh, just, there's so much such a heavy trial in being black here. Um, seems like, I, I even think of like the black bar, the doll, the black Barbie, you know, the Barbie, but then just, they really don't give, they're, you know, that's my black Barbie. If you go to the little girl's house and, and you're looking and she, you go to name her doll, she, she still is. The black Barbie's my black Barbie. So all these dolls have names and they all have occupations and things that they do. Feel good to you, like it feels good to me. Well, um, what I've done is I've been I'm usually I'm invited often um, to show my art because I'm not so much just about make dolls. I'm a visual artist also. So and I'm a performing artist. And a lot of times I will combine all three of them. I might go and do a project at a school, especially at schools, you know, and I want to show them um, that that within who I am, I have a, a huge imagination. I have a lot of muses. I've been, I've been very gifted in terms of being a performing artist, being a visual artist, loving to dance. I love to read and I teach. So in combining all of those, so I use the dolls as props. I might be... T doing a historical piece and I might want to and I'll bring those group of dolls that correlate with the subject at that particular time um, I've been asked to exhibit the dolls mostly the libraries of uh, um, and um, not so long ago the Quakers they had a um, commemoration black history commemoration and I brought the dolls that you know were the my un dolls that told the Underground Railroad you know story so a lot of it is the, the, the dolls is about um, um, in displaying them and telling the story and, and them being a part of my broader composite of 
the entertainment that I've been asked to do at that particular time. How, how am I going to entertain these children? How am I going to teach them? And what mediums are, I, am I going to use? I have my endeavor to have a museum because I'm at 336. Where am I going to buy all these dolls? And uh, without feeling like they're becoming dust, you know, <laughs> being gathers of dust. And I want to be able to show my work because it's, 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 it's been an endearment to me. So, um, I continue to do it. Sometimes I give myself a goal. I, first I thought I was just going to do 111. And that was now I'm at 336. Albeit, I have made thousands of dolls. But during Obama's campaign, that's when I decided I was going to make a, a, a collective amount. Before it was like, you know, just make maybe 50 dolls. With, you know, that would be a display. But now, like I said, I'm at 336. And, and I like that. Because it's like, it, 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 gives, it gives a wowie to it. <laughs> it's just like, wow. And, um. Feel good to you, like it feels good to me. I'm hoping, like I said, if I can get a museum and a stationery, I can perform you, and like show my me. art and just be Carmaya, you know, the art of being me. That's what I would, um, you know, I would say would be the echelon of, of a dream in terms of uh, showing my creativity.